Hey, good morning, you guys. Uh, so I wanted to do this video, talk a little bit about a word we throw around quite a bit. Um, the word is tension, right? Keeping things under tension. So um, I, I coach a lot of y'all to that. You probably hear me say that quite a bit if you're in one of my classes, whenever we're doing lifts, whenever really we're doing just about anything is to keep your body under tension. So I'm gonna kind of explain to you a little bit what, what that means to me, what that should mean to you, and how we can um, you know, help you out a little bit as far as getting more comfortable with the lifts, engaging more body parts, and making things more efficient for you. So tension <clears throat> is actually um, defined as the act of stretching or straining, right? So keeping something under tension. So you imagine a rubber band that you're stretching out, it's under enormous amount of tension, then it snaps back, right? So, and that's kind of what we want to do with, with our body. So mechanical wise, um, it is described as, or defined as a longitudinal deforma deformation um, of an elastic body that results in its elongation. So basically just what I described, you're pulling apart the rubber band and letting it stretch back. So what does tension do for us and, and how does it help? Well. Why it's important for us whenever we're in the gym, whenever we're doing things, even really in life in general, is we engage more muscles than what you're actually needing to do to incorporate a lift or anything else, right? So when people say, you know, basic simple stuff, when you're picking something off the floor, you know, lift, lift with your legs, not with your back, right? Well, that's obviously, that's good stuff, right? We don't wanna wrench our back, we wanna lift with our legs, strong, strong muscles, right? engage a posture chain and lift but we can't just lift without engaging other muscles right so everything has to work together and the more that we're under tension the more muscles we're going to recruit to help you with the lift and not just technically the muscles that are I guess assigned to that lift right so um, what it's going to do is going to help you become more efficient and believe it or not it's going to help you either you know, mitigate or kind of prevent some of those injuries that we see, especially like lower back injuries and stuff like that, uh, that we see quite a bit with like the kettlebell swing, with deadlifts, with things, you know, that way. Um, I know we all get sore, so of course, soreness is different than an injury, right? Um, pain and sore, they kind of can meld together, but they are different things. So if you're actually in pain, stop. If you're sore, you kind of have to just figure out kind of where you're at with it. If it's more painful, more sore to lift and do things, don't do it. Simple as that. So one of the, the biggest things I can tell you as far as tension is, is um, the bench press. I think that's the last one we really worked on when I, when I was coaching a few people in my uh, PM classes, my evening classes, is to keep under tension. So, you know, yeah, technically when you're under the bar and you're in the bench press, you're, you're Kind of utilizing your upper body right uh, your traps your pectorals your, your biceps triceps right shoulders so you kind of like upper body stuff is what it's focused on right technically but believe it or not you're actually recruiting your your legs your your glutes your quads your core you're recruiting all these different muscle groups to help you with this one lift so the more time you spend under tension the more muscles you're going to recruit and the better off you're gonna be able to lift and keep things efficient for you, keep things engaged. So whenever I cue that and y'all do that, it's like the light bulb just boop, pops on. You're like, whoa, wait a second here. That was a whole lot easier. I felt more in control. Exactly. You're loading everything up. You're keeping that, that body under tension, right? So there's less chance of you getting out of control with it and it's gonna be a more efficient lift. Now, I will tell you, the longer that you're under tension, time under tension, the more tired you're gonna get, right? But the more you do it, and the more you engage those muscle groups and you do things, you're gonna have a lot more endurance in the long run, okay? And it's gonna save you a ton. We all get tired during the workout. I'm one of the ones too, right? So I'll get tired and I'll, I'll let things kinda of slide a little bit. I'll, I'll lose that tension, okay? We really want to focus on not losing that tension that we build up. And I swear I'm gonna say this probably 14,000 times, but just whatever tension means to you, do it, right? So whenever I've heard Coach Sarah say many times, I have too, 
It's like when we're in a deadlift, you want to be there, you want to roll those shoulders back and lock them down. Well, that's not just to keep your chest up, that's to recruit those muscles there, your lats, your stabilizers, right? Your erector stabilizers there in your back to actually recruit them to hold that bar, to hold this upper body, your thoracic, in place while you're lifting. You can't just lift with just your legs, right? You're gonna blow something out, you're gonna blow your back, you're gonna do something, especially with the deadlift, we don't want it, that to happen. So we wanna recruit those muscles, extra stuff, to help us do it. So your whole body should be under tension. If you're comfortable in the bench press, if you're comfortable under the bar with the deadlift, if you're comfortable with any of the bar work, and pretty much anything that we do here, then honestly, there's something wrong. If I say, hey, get in that deadlift position and hang out there for 30 seconds and get ready to lift, there's no way you could do it. You would be like, dude, 10 seconds already, I'm, I'm, I'm done. That's the kind of tension you want to create whenever you lift. It should be an all body encompassing type of strain, okay? Strain not meaning a bad thing, strain meaning that your body wants to work and it's ready. Everybody is working together to make this lift happen. Right, it's like a football team, right? Yeah, you can have the best quarterback, you can have the best receiver and running back, but if you don't have that big offensive line protecting those guys for doing what they need to do, you're not getting anywhere. It's not gonna happen, right? You're gonna get sacked, if something's gonna happen, your, your running back is gonna get hit in the backfield, right? That's what your other body is. So pretend that, I, I again bring up football because I think most people understand that, is, Let's say that my particular lift that I'm working on is the deadlift, right? I know I'm gonna incorporate my legs and I'm gonna incorporate my posterior chain. That's gonna be the main drivers for this. So that's my, my, my quarterback and my running back, right? These guys, they're ready to go, right? They're locked and loaded. They're on the line. They're fixing to hike the ball, right? So the rest of my muscles in here, that's gonna be my offensive line, right? That's my center, that's my guards. That's everybody around me, this part, to make everything happen. So as soon as those guys are set, ready to go, these guys are set, ready to go, my quarterback, my running back, my offensive line, and as soon as that ball is snapped, everybody goes at the same time, right? You don't want a false start. You don't want one guy moving faster than the other. You don't want to have your hips come up. I don't want my hips, being my running back, to come up before my quarterback is ready, everything else. I want everybody to go at the exact same time, right? And that is what tension does, that's keeping everybody together, everybody working together, and everybody being safe with it, right? We don't want the quarterback to get sacked and drilled to the ground, right? Because my offensive line here, it's not ready. So looks like, you know, the quarterback is sacked. Done. We don't want that to happen, okay? So that's really all I want to kind of mention about tension. There's other factors that go into it, obviously. Breathing is a huge part of it, and I'm gonna to get to a whole nother separate thing about breathing, how to really in, in, encapsulate your, your thoracic area and your, your mid front section, right, your core, and get it engaged more. So that's gonna be a whole nother topic about it, but I wanna talk about tension because it's really important, and I think the more that you understand about tension, and the more you, you understand that when you do a particular lift, whether it be a deadlift, a bench press, a squat, um, kettlebell swing, um, like today we're gonna do alternating snatches. It's, it's everybody has to work together, right, to, to do this and to be efficient with it. Um, that's why you see like a lots of, you know, smaller people, I guess you can say, throwing around a lot of heavier weights because they understand the principle of tension and they know how to incorporate all those muscles together to help them do one particular lift and it is amazing to watch when it all comes together. And I promise you, if we'll incorporate some tension, we'll start really recruiting other muscles to, to work out, not just the ones that technically we're, we're using for this particular lift. I pinky promise you, you're gonna have a lot better time at these lifts. If you ever have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, want a little bit of one-on-one, -on -one, I'm always here to help you out. I'm, I'm here to, to give you direction and to coach you the very best that I can. But I, I can't coach you unless you come and ask me kind of what's going on and what you're needing help with, right? Uh, if I, especially if I don't see you in the, in the afternoon or evening classes, I don't know what's up. 
So that's my takeaway for today. I hope you learned a little bit about tension and how it's gonna help you with your lifts. Uh, again, if you need anything, let me know. Y'all have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye, y'all.